everyone. I'm Brett Rector, broker and co-owner of Widry Collective and one of your hosts of American Dream Television Selling New Orleans. Today we are at the crossroads of where Orleans Parish ends and St. Bernard Parish begins in a small, tight-knit community known as Araby. In 2005, this neighborhood, along with much of St. Bernard Parish, was virtually washed off the map as a result of the flooding that occurred after Hurricane Katrina. For the past six years, this neighborhood has exploded with high quality new construction homes being built by local builders such as LaGrae's Builders, Hotard Homes, and Union Real Estate. This year, on the night of March 22nd, an F3 force tornado ripped through the neighborhood, destroying and severely damaging virtually everything in its path. The residents were left devastated. A young man lost his life. Everyone's life was turned upside down. This is a deeply personal event for me. I too was a resident of this neighborhood. And this is my home, which I am rebuilding. So let's go in and take a tour. So this is my home and I'm so excited to see the level of progress that has been made. In fact, I cried a little bit when I walked in here and the sheetrock was up. I'm taking this opportunity to recreate the floor plan a little bit to have the home of my dreams and I can't thank my builder Union Real Estate enough for all the efforts that they've made on my behalf. We're going to end this segment here and travel to the booming arts section of Araby and introduce you to a good friend and gallery owner, Christopher Ryan. Now we're at St. Claude Arts, which is part of the St. Claude Arts campus with the gallery owner, Christopher Ryan of Araby Visual Arts. Thank you for joining us today. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. So art is such a big part of the culture in Louisiana and New Orleans. What made you choose Araby and this location to open your gallery? Well, it's the, the initial decision was based on uh, it being a little bit safer, less hectic area with good parking compared to New Orleans. But it's grown to be a lot more than that to me with a very supportive community here on the campus. We have a world-class art and framing center just two doors down. Other artists in the building were very supportive of each other. Zeitgeist Theater next door is incredibly supportive with combining events together with performance arts and films to match the theme of our exhibitions. And so recently you had a wildly successful and absolutely beautiful show entitled Metamorphosis, which I was able to enjoy and take part in. So what was the inspiration for that show and why was it important to you on a personal and cultural level? A Metamorphosis from Marginal to Magnificent is the full name and the concept behind that is to bring together a lot of different types of minorities into one show. And I have this belief that we're all stronger together and art is one of the best ways to really showcase that. So everything that was in it was either created by or depicting marginalized people, but not just the marginalized aspect of it, also to the magnificent. So, you know, Mardi Gras Indian celebrating or a protester crying, you know, it can go from one extreme to the other. And the reason why it's so important to me on a personal level is it basically represents a um, lifetime struggle of my own um, fighting racism. I was raised in a very racist environment and it took a lot of exploration for me to learn to fight and change that. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us today, Chris. It's always a pleasure to see you, and I look forward to your next show. I'm Brett Rector, broker and co-owner of Witcher Collective, and this has been American Dream Television Selling New Orleans. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you soon.